Wagner, Greg, it's great to see both of y'all. Thanks, man. Good to see you, John. I just saw the movie this week, and um, it blew me away. I never knew this the story of Sergio. How did the story of Sergio come to you? What was the initial spark when you heard his story saying, this needs to be shared with the world? It just, you know, it, I, I first encountered this story uh, like 15 years ago. And, uh, Samantha Power was writing a book about about Sergio DeMello. And, uh, you know, it just spoke to me on a number of levels in a deeply emotional um, space. I've spent a lot of my life working as a journalist and documentary filmmaker overseas. There's something about Sergio's, the scope of his life, his internal struggle. He saw the world very clearly, but didn't really see himself or those closest to him very clearly. And in fact, ran from responsibilities at times, personal responsibilities. Spoke to me, I saw a universal story, a beautiful story um, about love and purpose that, that I thought would resonate. So, you know, here we are 15 years later and Wagner, you know, uh, playing Sergio, but it's, it's, it's something that, you know, has been part of my life for a long time. Yeah. Wagner, like Sergio, you two are from Brazil and have devoted a lot of your life to human rights organizations. Uh, you're a goodwill ambassador for the international labor organization. How has your childhood in Brazil and working with the ILO influenced you for this role? This is a very interesting question. I was very, also always very fascinated by the United Nations. And of course, when I realized, <clears throat> honestly, after Sergio's death, uh, after 2003, when I realized that there was a Brazilian uh, a guy that was that sort of uh, divided the history of the UN in two, like it's before and after Sergio Vieira de Mello, I I became co sort of fascinated by by him and by and by his uh, his legacy. And of course, uh, human rights. When he when he was killed, he was the High Commissioner, the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, and. Uh, Human rights is sort of part of my uh, my my life. Uh, I've been, you know, like you said, working with human rights organizations and as a ILO goodwill ambassador. So it all made sense, you know, to make. I was the, the film about Sergio is part of a more ambitious project that I had that I have, which is to produce films about Latin people that don't reinforce a stereotype. So I think that the beginning with uh, with someone like Sergio was a uh, was a uh, you know made a, made a lot of sense to me personally. Greg, you shared an incredible photo this week on Twitter and it's from the set of Sergio. Uh I'm guessing it may have been in Jordan, but you're in the streets surrounded by people. And so during the so during the filming of Sergio, during this movie, you got to be a part of so many you got to see so many different cultures. Uh, during your travels for the movie. What were some of the aspects of the different cultures that you visited that you saw uh, that kind of brought out the best in humanity? Well, yeah, that, that picture is actually uh, on our set in Jordan. Um, and uh, most of the extras in, in the movie are you know, personal sort of representatives of the countries that we're portraying. So in, in the, 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 the extras in the Iraq scenes, which, you saw, which we shot in Jordan, are um, all refugees from Iraq and Syria, who many of whom had lived through similar tragedies and wanted to retell those stories to the world. And I remember Wagner and I would talk to them. It's like, we're, we're here to learn from you. We're not here to sort of tell the world your story. We want to help you tell the world your story, you know? And, and, uh, and, and we also did a lot of um, filming in Thailand but a lot of the movies set in East Timor, which we couldn't film in for practical reasons. But we flew in uh, dozens of uh, of extras and and cast members from East Timor, along with you know um, clothing and textiles for the sets. So we really wanted to feel that this story was a truly international story um, that wasn't like Hollywood's perception of the rest of the world it was kind of the rest of the world sort of. The, the story flowing out from people in, a, in an authentic way. Wagner, did you want to add on to that? Or? Absolutely. One of the important things for us was that the film, uh, uh, regarding what's, what, what Greg just said, was that the films, uh, uh, like I said, I was always very fascinated by the UN and human rights. And, I, and, and so I love the fact that the film has a mix of, 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 of 
of uh, accents, and we have actors from, you know, Ernest from Cuba, Brian is from Ireland, and, and you know, we have German actors, actors from Iraq, from Jordan, from from Thailand, from U.S. So it's, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I think that this is, uh, and of course, in the end of the day, this is a film about empathy and how, you know, a, a world leader saw people as people and not, not as uh, statistics or, 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 or numbers, which is something that is absolutely lacking. And with the coronavirus crisis, we could see that the world leaders nowadays, they lack a lot this particular quality, which is empathy. So it, this is, our film is about that. And, uh, and the, the different, uh, the, most, the most emotional uh, uh, moments in the film were exactly when we brought extras from East Timor that knew uh, uh, who Sergio was, you know, and were, you know, excited to be there. So there was this uh, 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 energy, this atmosphere uh, in a set that I think that it, it, it contaminated uh, the whole uh, crew and the whole experience of doing this film. So it's, it's more than, for me, it's always like, uh, the process is always more interesting than than the result of anything that I do. And in this particular case, it was a, a great uh, uh, a journey for all of us. Well, gentlemen, I want to thank you both for joining me today. And Greg, like you said, at the core of this story is a message of hope, empathy, and to see people different from you inside yourself. It's a beautiful story. I'm going to tell everyone to go see it. Thank you again, Sergio. Thanks, Thanks man. Thank you. Thank you, John. Appreciate it.